couldn't be a perfect time to do the quest free enhancement update because we just got like a couple hours ago a new map and then we'll do the past one arctic what we're looking for is improved shadows lightning some dust kind of appearing in air while you're walking so just more ambient stuff going on and at this point breachers is known about its visuals in the shooter perspective so i have no doubt it's gonna be polished although i need to play the game first to see <laughs> So the new, new, new thing is Outpost, which is Team Dev Match. I think I need to jump now. <laughs> and then we'll do Bomb Diffuser Arctic situation. <laughs> it's like training grants themed. I need my weapon redo. This is not that I'm driving in. Mm. Oh, damn, I got scared. <laughs> damn, it's gonna be rough. Wow, the sounds. <laughs> Shotgun sniper. I mean, the map is cute. Like, it's very... I don't know, classic? Timeless? It's comedic, though. <laughs> like, the fake trees and... And match a shotgun in close quarters. Not to me. What the hell? Damn, the headshots are strong here. It's a very small map, though. Like the combat is dynamic. Well, thank you, but I died. <laughs> it's so interesting, even the sounds of the bullets that bounce off the environment, like... That's the level of polish this game has. What the hell? Where? <laughs> While it's cute and fun, I am on a timeline and let's do the Arctic now. Wait. <laughs> Ghost of Tabor advertisement here? Huh. Well, Hyperdash is their product. <laughs> Where are we? Of course, in some kind of base. I need to go out. And the corridors. Well, that's very on brand. But that's my place. <laughs> I 
First, I need to see the environment. Ah, oh, come on. I don't remember how it was. The Aurora Borealis killed me. Ten. <laughs> and I thought it's the doors to outside. I just want to see how the map looks. It's hard. <laughs> I love that there's a picture of so random people. <laughs> or maybe it's the team. I wish action would be happening outside though as well. But it's cute. Now to the actual game. <laughs> They're all downstairs. Yeah, it's always a struggle to find stars. Well, not a struggle, you need to follow certain lines. Am I trash? And to be serious. Entering it like a death match. Well, that was cute, although I definitely, in terms of the dynamic and just the whole gameplay, I prefer team dev matches. It's just fast, you don't get lost in bigger spaces, and those maps are like grand work for the competitive mode, which... It's interesting that it's not here, <laughs> right? But I feel like the devs want to make an experience a la Content Strike in VR, in terms of the polish and creating an actual esports of it. I would say in terms of the quest free enhancements, I didn't necessarily notice a difference I feel like, but that might be mostly because Breachers is already a stunning game, so like I don't see this getting any better. With the maps, I love the first one. Arctic, I mean, I think it's just not necessarily my mode and I don't like being limited meaning when I go outside I die instantly so team deathmatch all the way outpost cute and next update will be probably the competitive zone